Good morning, good morning. Happy Sabbath. Happy Saturday morning. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just check on this hydroponics real fast before we get our day started. Because it is looking really good when I come out here. Like it is super growing now. It is doing its thing now. So I think I'm trying to get it figured out. Something, some little bug or something is eating it. No, no, it's not. All right. So I think I, I think I got the hang of it. All right. So uh, on our Sabbath, the kids normally come out every um excuse me i'm looking around seeing what i need to do the kids normally come out every day and make sure that um all the animals are taken care of and making sure that you know everything's done before those that go to school um go to school and those that are homeschooled before they start homeschool this is just so nice i really like it thank you I think we definitely gonna keep it like this um so yeah those that are homeschooled before they you know start their lesson and stuff like that so what i do on sabbath saturday morning is i come out here and i uh, you know feed water and hay the um the rabbits in the rabbit tree and they're all they're all actually ready to, they're ready, they don't even know what happened, see, they're ready, huh, huh honey, huh honey, yeah, so they're ready, so normally I won't have uh, anybody out here with me, but this morning I woke up Rihanna early, because she is our, all of our children have their own traits that they, you know, want to go into and hers is actually to be a i'll let you tell them what, what do you what do you want to be veterinarian so she wants to be a veterinarian so i got her up this morning she doesn't know what we're about to do but our our kits are um trying to see if i can get this to power on our kits are officially one week old today and i want to get them weighed um, and I might, Rihanna, give me that, unplug that, that grill and bring that extension cord under here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get the rabbits fed and paid and watered. But we're also going to go ahead and get them, the kits away, get their one week wait you don't have to do this in your rabbit tree we do it in ours uh just because of our calendar i want to keep weight so when they're one week four weeks six weeks and eight weeks i want to know what they're you know how they're progressing and obviously when they get to five pounds you know it's time for them to go to the fryer because that's what they were bred for uh so yeah today is what is today i know it's saturday the 20 <laughs> 23rd 22nd 23rd she was right all right so we're gonna get this we have this little scale i bought us another scale for the rabbit tree but it was to unplug that i mean plug this into here and then plug that uh it was too didn't seem like our our uh American chinchillas, honey and honey and kingman are kind of on the large side, and the scale went to 33 pounds, and it was saying that kingman was like 38 pounds, and it was kind of cumbersome, like really, really too um, too small for him. So I had this when I had the the retail store. I had this. Uh, package scale that goes up to like a hundred pounds and so I'm going to use that just I'm trying to find something to put on it uh, I'm going to use that as a as the rabbit tree scale and so this is it here I'll leave it in the description it goes to a max of 110 pounds 
I shouldn't have to worry about it. So what I can do is actually, the kits will actually fit on this with no problem. It's the, it's the bigger ones that we'll probably need like a tote or something for. Um, but as you can see, it has this far away scale. So the other thing that the scale was doing once I would put the rabbit on it, then I couldn't see what the weight was anymore. So as you can see now, I'm putting like five pounds of pressure, six pounds of pressure, 10 pounds of pressure it's adjusting and I can see it there so it has this nice little cord so I'll leave it in the description if anybody wants it go ahead and uh, check it out um, check it out anyway even if you don't buy it check it out and yeah so actually what we'll do normally I'll feed her first uh, go and look for that kale in the refrigerator normally I would feed mama first to get her distracted uh, she has never given me any issues about taking the babies out or putting them back in uh, we do have one runt in the litter, um, just he's a lot smaller than the rest of them that I do worry about, but I think he's, I think he'll, he'll, he or she will survive, um, sorry if I'm too close, uh, I think he or she will, will survive without, without incident, so we're going to go ahead, I'm going to hand over the camera to Rihanna so I can, I normally be holding it, that way I know I'm not holding it too close, uh, trying to see if we have any we have so much junk back here I'm trying to see if we have anything that they would, might want to sit on it's like a bag it's a just like so yeah so we just give them until all of our kale is ready to harvest. We give them store-bought kale that's been washed and soaked, and yeah, we give them this. And I can tell mommy is eating really well because she doesn't have any food in her park work, so she's definitely hungry. Uh, Coco still has some food in hers, and Kingman. She's a slow eater this, this month. So mom last month was a slow eater. She almost had a full, she almost had a full J feeder because I, I don't know what she was doing. I don't know, but I did read that somewhere that they do that sometimes be, before they actually um, kindle that they'll not eat as much. So without further ado, so I'm not teasing her, kind of waiting for Rihanna to come back. Um, let me let me feed them their regular pellets at least they're her anyway because i know she's hungry and what i used to water now is this little thing from walmart uh, i'll link one in the description as well put that on top of the scale um yeah i normally like to i normally like to leave mama with um what is it? amount of uh, food here you can hold this and scan just make sure you touch it and make sure you can see me follow me where i'm doing look i like to leave mama with a unlimited amount of food so that she doesn't she just keep it right there uh so that she doesn't uh doesn't want for anything but i guess somebody forgot to come out and give her food so I'm gonna put three cups in here and she is grubbing so yeah she's hungry all right so she has enough water so we do we have a bowl and we have the, the uh, we have a bowl and we have the, the water bottles Give Coco a nice scoop. And then if he came and has a bunch, I won't give him any more. I don't want it to just sit out here. Yeah, he has a lot. So he has a lot. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. How you doing? Um so yeah. That's pretty much what this tote is for. We keep it closed because the mice We'll come and get it. Um, and then what I'll do is we'll go ahead and give them some nice trusty kale. They like it. 
um, mama gets the most of it. Uh, Co uh, Coco is actually pregnant right now, so we kind of give her a lot of treats too. Uh, Kingman doesn't really care for the treats that much. So. But Coco, Coco and Honey love their kill. Huh, she waits for her kill. She waits for it. She comes and she jumps. She knows she gonna get a treat. She knows she gonna get a treat. Yes, she knows she gonna get a treat. So she like, where is it? I smell it. I smell it on your hand. Where's my treat? Where's my treat? There it go, mama. There it go. And so that allows me to get behind her and get this nesting box out of here. All right, and there's the babies back there. They're growing. Hope we're not missing any. So let's get them on the scale. Um, we don't have no way of identifying them. I just want to get an average weight. So this is not truly for documenting. We'll, like, we'll do the next. And I'll show y'all why I have Rihanna on the camera. I'll show you guys our app that we use. That will be available to you guys um, for purchase. We're doing some beta testing. We have a few people testing it. Um, but this is pretty much the app there. It's a spreadsheet type of deal. Um, it has all the calculations already in it. So as you can see, this is Honey's here. You can zoom in. She's in cage number two. Um, her cage tag, the date of her birth, um, the first date that she's able to uh, have to be bred, um, where her mama and daddy came from. There we go. That's where her mom and dad came from and then uh the date for the first litter here at r she already had five litters before we got her but the date for our uh breeding here for her first litter was february 15th uh, her estimated date was march 17th uh, we inputted the nest and these are all calculations based off the entries that you put um, she had eight kids. We felt we thought it was seven, but she had eight. I found the head of one, so one died. So she, we have a total of seven. Um, actual date of birth was the 16th. Um, her estimated weight again, we tried to estimate it because we couldn't get the full, was 30, uh, 36 pounds. Uh, the kids' eyes should open on the 26th today. We said it was the 23rd, so three more days. Their eyes should open. These are all the ones that are in gray are all automatically inputted based off the date that she had her babies. Um, the kill kids health, health check will be the 30th. That means we take them out, fully check them. Um, and then the date that we're gonna turn the nest box. So they'll, when they start jumping out, uh, the removal of the nest box, uh, the rebreeding date, which is March 30th, uh, is when we'll rebreed her or able to rebreed her. The weaning date, which means they won't be in there with mommy anymore, April 22nd date that we can sell is May 30th the date that we can butcher is May 15th and date of her next litter 31 days from the date that we will um, rebreed her will be April 30th so April 30th she'll be having the, her next litter then on this side is where we'll enter so it'll total up how many kits we had total weight for meat that'll total up from over here the um, the, the buck for this litter is Kingman and then on uh, week four, we'll give a, a official weight. We'll have names and things for them on week four. Week six, week eight, and then end results. And we can also, like I put over here, uh, born on the date at the PM. Any information that you see, like if it had nest eye, I'm treating it for this. You can put it here once we start tagging them of what, what uh, rabbit is what, uh, with sex and things like that. And then those note, uh, honey came from Lucky Girl Rabbitry in Globe, Arizona. So, yeah, all that's in there. And, yeah, and so her next litter, I can actually start inputting things, which I did here. It goes there. And then, so that's, that's for honey. And then check out, and then at the bottom, it has another tab for your next doe and so on and so forth. And you can see that says uh, for Coco. So Coco... Um, her birth date was 427. Um, the date we bred her, or excuse me, the first date that she could be bred uh, was 1024. Um, and then her mom and dad, from her 
uh, pedigree sheet that I got from the uh, previous owner. The date that we bred her was March 8th. So she's expected to kindle on April um, 8th. And we have to build her nest box by April 4th. And so I put in the actual date here just to test out these numbers and y'all can see them there. And the same thing, we'll put the weight in. Kingman again was the father. Once we know how many kits came out, that information will go there. You can also put a picture of the doe there. And I gotta fix that, but it's, that says, um, let me go ahead and fix that. That says Coco was brought from an event in Casa Grande, uh, Rocky Ray's Rabbit Tree from Colorado is where she's from. So that's what we use there. and. We're gonna go ahead and get these kits on this ceramic towel to weigh each of them. So we're gonna zero this out. So you can come on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and zero that out. And then let's start pulling out rabbits. And then what I'll do, oh, they look so, they got their little faces. They got their little faces. Oh, so he's a lot, he or she is a lot uh, lighter than the rest of them. He's almost the color of their mom. But look at him. All right, so we're going to put him here for a second. And five ounces, exactly five ounces is that one. Oh. They're squirrely in here. Oh yeah, this one's like the same color also. Got to hold them tight because they will try to jump out your hands. Yeah. 4.8 ounces. I got to watch it because the bigger one just ran back back there. There's another one. I'll try to do this quick. 3.2. So this is why we want to do a, a tote. So that's our five pounder that jumped back there. Uh, this is why we want to do a tote and this is our runt. And our runt is barely coming in at 2.2. Two so this is the one we got to watch. Like you see how he's not jumping around like the legs are not as strong as the other ones. So yeah, this is the one that we're having to, to watch and hope that he makes it, he or she makes it three weeks. And that's it. That's all of them. So they're moving around, but I wish I can get, I wish I did have a tote so I can get the total weight, but I guess I could add it up. Um, so yeah, we'll get them back. We'll get them back in there. Let's actually check a look at there. Okay. So we'll get them back. You can't tell right now what sex it is. It's too early to tell. Here, I'll hold it so you can put them back so you can get a chance to touch them. That's why I had you wash your hands. Let's pick them up. There's one back. Let's pick them up. Don't be scared. Take those out. Put them in like a little container. You put that one in by itself. And it's called shelving. Put that one in there by itself. And that way, honey will nurse that one for sure. Here, you can hold this while I put her. Um, her honey will nurse that one for sure. Um, so... Mom. Mom. She'll get in there and do what she needs to do as far as rearranging them or feeding them or whatever. She's a good mama. Yeah, she's a good mama. All right, go ahead and close her up. Our little electric fan went off. That it actually lasts like, oh no, it didn't go off. Somebody turned it off, so it's still going. It actually lasts about three days. So somebody turned it off. Um, it's actually 
pretty gloomy today, so probably won't need it. All right. So we probably won't need it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and check on your plants. Show the people what you planted. I got a famous Bentley. Go ahead and get this clothes back up. And I got a famous Bentley. All right. So here are their plants. I need to check the watering on them. They're actually seeming like they're ready to go to uh, to their forever home. So which one is yours? Right here. And what did you plant again? Um, I think this is basil. Basil. And dinosaur kale. And dinosaur kale. So two things that the rabbits like. So. That's good. So we'll go ahead and um, we need to get these planted in the ground. Cause as you see, they're starting to outgrow. Uh, I'll move this over a little bit. They start to touch. They're starting to outgrow their little canisters here. And we have these things too. I think your mom forgot that they're here. She bought me these, and I can't use them, so she probably can use them. All right, you guys. So. That is it for the morning of our Sabbath. We, again, we don't do too much at night. Here, take this back and put it in. And based off of what we do on a daily, this is nothing. Uh, we do still have to take care of our animals. Um, that is in the Bible, that the Sabbath doesn't stop us from taking care of the anim our animals. What we do try to do is give them as much stuff uh, beforehand. And as you can see, she's, she's gathering. I'm noticing she's gathering, she's ready to build her nest. Yeah, she's ready to build her nest. So she normally will eat it, but I just seen her gathering. Uh, but yeah, we put this back. We don't do anything actually. We'll, we'll do church uh, in about an hour or so. I'll sound the alarm, everybody will come down. And we're actually going through the Bible down here for a second and talk to you guys <clears throat> we're actually going through the bible um line by line chapter by chapter verse by verse so make sure it sits up there because that'll fall and break um so yeah we'll we'll go line by line chapter by chapter verse by verse to get an understanding of what it is that god is actually calling us to be and to do and um things that the church has taken out of us doing or saying that we don't have to do it the bible never told us that so a lot of that stuff is man given um that's why we don't go to an actual building church um so started our own thing god gave me the vision to start the kingdom disciple makers um which is pretty much what we're all called to be is disciples and to go out and make disciples so um he called me to be an apostle, which I didn't know what it was when he was calling me to do it at, until I was reading the Bible and said, oh, you want me to be an apostle? I thought I was just going to be a teacher teaching, and that's what an apostle is, you know, the teacher. So, um, yeah, we'll get up here in about an hour or so, uh, about 10, 1030. I'll play some worship music. Oh, actually, we got a 7:40, so we got some time. I'll play some worship music for about a good hour. Um, if those that want to come down and worship, will worship. Um, otherwise, they we sound an alarm a little bit before 10, and we go at it. We go through the word. We're right now, we're in um, we're in Leviticus. I think we just got done with Numbers. So yeah, we're in Leviticus. We just started last week, um, and so we'll go through Leviticus. Uh, our official launch for the church. Uh, you guys are probably seeing this after will be um, Passover 2024 is the official launch of Kingdom Disciple Makers, and you know it's a base out of the home, and we'll we'll branch out as we need to branch out, go online as we need to go online, um, and just follow the God-given vision. Oh, I was looking at another planter thing from Kingbird. I was actually looking at a greenhouse from them. I just noticed behind me that that, that our raised beds came from them. <clears throat> put a put a greenhouse somewhere around here but yeah other than that um we don't cook anything today so everything had to be prepared yesterday that's why we grilled and we made so much food oxtails grilled chicken hot dogs so we, we just do we just do a lot on <clears throat> friday so that way that night we can just eat and enjoy each other and talk and 
fellowship with with each other as a family, which uh, you know the world is taking that away from a lot of us. A lot of us don't sit down at the table anymore to eat or catch up <clears throat> or anything like that. So we do that Friday evening, Saturday morning. Like I said, they don't wake up as they normally would. A lot of a lot of the kids are be up at like 5:30. Um, I normally get up around five, six o'clock, and I'll start and do this stuff with the rabbitry. I just woke her up this morning because you know this is the field that she's going. They all have their own interests. Like you know, and I'm gonna let them each talk to you about what it is that they want to do, why they want to do it, what the Lord has called them to do. You know, they're all older. Our twins are autistic, um, but you know, Riley's. Uh, Nonverbal. She's actually starting to talk a lot more. Johnny's. He can speak and articulate what it is that he wants. I don't think he's gotten his calling yet, but that boy can worship and he can recite and remember things like no other. So I don't know how, how and when God's going to use him, but you know, a lot of times even when we are not one to worship, he wants to worship. You know, um, Ruben. He's like our farm hand. He's going to learn everything about the farm. I know he wants to do sports but we'll see how that works out um reagan she's an evangelist i'll let her give her own testimony and then you have rihanna who just told you what it is she wants to do we have kylie doesn't live with us she's in california but she does dance and things of that nature and then we have ryan who's our filmmaker uh he actually would probably be the one doing a lot of the editing and directing of these videos um and then you have me and mom who are just leading them the way god's telling us to lead them so this morning I'm gonna rest. I'll probably get some um, get some something to drink, um, some tea or something, and then go ahead and open up my Bible and get my personal study started, my personal worship started. And it's kind of a unique situation because they're actually learning. Um, and then we do like a Bible Jeopardy sometimes that night or the next day <clears throat> to reiterate what they've learned and it, it's, it's pretty pretty intense you know we put girls versus boys sometimes and then sometimes it's like just individually done um and then we'll watch some tv together um in the nighttime and the biggest part that i that i enjoy uh we haven't done it in a couple of weeks because i either been sick or uh, we were out of town but we have family games so we play card games monopoly scrabble so we just have a whole uh thing of games so we'll play games um for a few hours right through lunch we'll have lunch together laugh talk play some music and then yeah by the evening time we'll have dinner play a game or watch some kind of family movie and that is it tomorrow morning um you know sometimes i'll work <clears throat> sometimes i'll have i'll have jobs so tomorrow is actually a big day we're getting our our last purchased rabbit here everything from this point from that point on should come from our own rabbitry uh, but we're getting a Texas uh, a Texas um, composite rabbit which I've been wanting um, just because of the heat here in Arizona so they're supposed to be very heat tolerant so uh, she will be our last doe and then we'll be keeping one from this litter um, a doe from this a doe from this litter if we have any and that'll be our doe number five so the doe we're getting today would be doe number four or three oh sorry so the, the doe from this litter will be doe number four and then a doe from coco's litter will be doe number five and then um okay uh, probably probably a doe from this uh rabbit that we're getting she won't be able to have babies until <coughs> after the heat after the summer so sometime in september September um, so yeah acclimated to the area so I can see if I need to move it and that's one of the things I told you guys before we're not trying to build anything permanent we do have a section in the side of the house that I know for sure gets good shade but that gets good pretty good shade too I just want to test it out so what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna build it up to where it's two tiers have a watering system that could collect rainwater that could collect rainwater and um, you know at the bottom where we can harvest their 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 compost and then also their their urine because their urine is actually um a good fertilizer too so i'm looking at this hydroponics and i re really like to make some tea you can actually make their um take some manure some water and some other items and make like this tea where 
it's like the pellets it's not the pellets they're they're poop in the water and let it sit and then it will come out with this nice fertilizer and you can actually put that in your garden and put that in your um, hydroponics and yeah so what we're gonna do I'm thinking somebody said they bought some home bought plants from like Home Depot or Lowe's I'm thinking about getting like two just to test it out just do one without anything and then do one with the their poop and see the difference of how it grows that should be a nice uh, a nice homeschool experiment type of deal um, but yeah so thank you guys for coming with us this morning Shabbat Shalom um, no we're not seven day Adventist we're just in we're not any denomination we're just followers of Christ and doing what Christ tells us to do um, I think man made all those extra things and we're trying to get away from anything that man created or did that will hinder us from being true truly what God has called us to be if it helps us great if it doesn't and you know people are starting to teach what they believe and put their things in it's not nothing we believe this is what God's called us to do either through a vision through his word to our ears or through his word and his Bible and that's the only thing that I and the only way I want to do it literally um, so yeah with that being said we, look at the bird I can see the bird over there right now getting water out of our hydroponics so they're drinking the, the water with the nutrients in it too Hi, my name is Ryan. Hi, my name is Johnny. My name is Ruben. Hi, my name is Reagan. Hi, my name is Ryan. And you're watching GGG Family Farms. Glory to God Family Farms. And you're not watching Glory to God Family Farms. And you're watching Glory to God Family Farms. And you're not watching GGG Family Farms. My name is Ruben. I'm 12. I'm great. Um, I like to uh, take out Bentley and I like, run around with the like to interact with the animals and I like uh, to like get like, interested in like knives and stuff like try to hunt for stuff do, What do you want to do when you grow up? Help uh, homeless, the homeless people and help like work at a homeless shelter and like start helping helping people that don't, that, that don't have you like about being a Christian? He 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 answers for me when I say say like I have this test. I have like the big big test that I need I need to pass, and I do it and I say put in God's hands, and then next day I'll get like a hundred percent. That's not actually happening. But the new party Bible uh, is. Genesis, because in the beginning, he creates everything in a way so he not listen to the devil or anything. So I, I like Genesis. Begin. My name is Ruben, and I, you're watching GGG Family Farms. Johnny King. I'm a second grade. And, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'll be on second grade and I over to third grade. You want to third grade? Well, what do you want to be when you're in a when you're a big, tall guy like Daddy? What are you gonna be? What job do you want to have? A firefighter. You be a firefighter or a chef? A doctor. A doctor. What do you like about the Bible? Jethro on the big wall. Jethro on the big wall, okay. What do, you, what do you think about Jesus? And we sing. We sing? Yeah, we sing. What do you what is your favorite song to sing? Now behold the lamb. Now behold the lamb. Can you sing a little bit? How you go? Now behold the lamb. The Good job. Are you going to say hi to the subscribers? Hi, there's my subscribers. And 
I've got to get my my shops into my cha cha. Hi, my name is Reagan, and I'm 15 years old. I want to be an evangelist and pretty much um, a moving vessel for God. Being a Christian means to me like um, just giving Jesus the love and the, the obedience that He deserves. Part of the Bible has to be with Jonathan and David and um, their friendship, really, their friendship, and pretty much how they were very like supportive of each other and even though Don Jonathan did went against his family went against everything that his family believed in he was willing to do for um do that for David because that was um he was God's chosen one my God he sent by anointed by God uh what is something that you want the subscribers to know about you um that just because I'm at a young age doesn't mean that I'm gonna not God doesn't have a plan for me that it's gonna like I might surpass people twice my age, my surpass people three times my age, but if that's what God wants me to do, you should do it. He's not going to wait until, um, he's not going to tell you, tell you that you, sh you can't do something because you're a young age. It's the Bible says not to, not, do not let anyone despise your youth. And just because you're young, just, just because you're like new to Christianity doesn't mean that you can't, um, do what God told you to do. My name is Rihanna. I'm 17 years old. Um, I like to draw and, and paint and I like working with animals. I want to be a veterinarian. Oh, if I can't be a veterinarian, then I want to be a veterinarian assistant or working with animal control. What do you like most about the Bi from the Bible? Um, I like how the, the shepherds care for the sheep and everything. And how like when one's missing, like they'll go and make sure that that sheep would like come back to the flock. So like they'll they'll like pr protect the flock from like predators like wolves and stuff like that. It was Rihanna, and you're watching Glory to God Family Farm. My name is Ryan. I'm 19 years old. My interests include uh, filmmaking, uh, like videography. I also do a little bit of theater on the side also. My final career goal is I want to do what God's called me to do and make um, movies for Him. So, uh, concept of Bible stories and whatever God, whatever else God tells me to do. So, I want to do that. So, God called you to do that. God called me to do that. So, how how was that when He called you to do it? How did that feel? Um, the experience. It was it was a powerful experience. It was on my uh, my birthday and I just got baptized and we were in church and. So when he called me, he told me to write for him as I was praying. So it was a very powerful. I didn't know what he meant at first, and it took me a minute to figure it out. When I did, it was a different. It was a great experience. Being a Christian means to um, uh, uplift the kingdom, do everything for God and for Jesus. Every uh, everything that you do is to uplift the kingdom. So that's what I. That's what I'm doing. We're writing movies is to uplift the kingdom and spread the message. Favorite part of the Bible is. I'm gonna have to say Proverbs. Proverbs is my favorite part of that. But something I want the subscribers to know about me is uh, I'm a very uh, fun person. I like, I really like too much structure. I just like going with the flow of things and uh, very uh, passionate and emotional about what I, everything I do. So, yeah. Wait. Hi, my name is Ryan, and you're watching Glory to God Family Farms. Right. <laughs>